वेलकम एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द लोकेशन ऑफ द हार्ट इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड देन आई हैल्सो एक्सप्लेन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द हार्ट नाउ वट आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस ऑल्सो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द ब्लड वेसल्स इंटरिंग एंड लिविंग द हार्ट इट्स ऑलरेडी ओवर नाउ वॉट आई एक्सप्लेन द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक that is the circulation of the blood through the heart so we all knows now that uh, this side is the left and this side is the right so here is the atrium same way here also atrium is there so we can see this one is as a left atrium this one is the right atrium same way this will be the left uh, right ventricle this is the left ventricle so what happens the first uh, the blood will come from the vena cava vena cava either from the inferior vena cava or from the superior vena cava so from all over the body the blood will come into the right atrium and then from the right atrium the blood will go to the right ventricle and from right ventricle since this blood is deoxygenated because it's coming from the body so this blood is dirty in layman way in layman term so the blood has to go and get itself purified so what happen to to get it purified the blood will go to the lungs that is pulmonary artery and then after going to the pulmonary artery just uh, think this is the this is the lung from here it goes to the lung gets purified and then come back through pulmonary vein and then it will come back into the left atrium and then it will go to the left ventricle and from here it will go to the aorta and then this purified blood will go all over the body i hope uh, you got the basic idea now coming to the systole just remember systole is the contraction contraction of the heart so when the heart contracts that phase is called diastole uh, systole and diastole is relaxation of the heart remember when the heart contracts it will send its blood to the other parts then the heart needs some time to collect the blood so that time the heart will be in diastole phase so that it will collect the blood and that's what that time the heart will be in relaxation phase so the various events in the cardiac cycle is the first event is collection of the blood in the right auricle you can see in the right auricle the blood will collected the first step simultaneously the blood will also be collected in the left or uh, left auricle so the first event is the collection of blood in the right auricle second event is collection of blood in the right, left auricle actually both of this goes simultaneously and then in the third step the blood will passage passes the all the blood will, will pass from the auricles to the ventricles so from here it will come here from here it will come here and then there will be a we a contraction of ventricles what happens when this ventricle contracts the blood will go into the pulmonary artery if it's the right ventricle from here the blood will go into the pulmonary artery if it's a left ventricle the blood will go to the aorta remember you may think also the blood may go back also yeah obviously the blood can go back but what happens valves are there here here tricuspid valve is there here bicuspid valve is there so what happens when ventricles contract this valve will close this uh, gate and then blood has to go into the either into the aorta or either into the pulmonary artery and then after that the blood will be distributed in case of right ventricle the blood coming out from the right ventricle this blood will distribute to the lungs so that it will get the fresh oxygen in case of the left ventricle the blood will go to the aorta and from aorta it will go all over the body go to the uh, aorta arteries then arterioles then capillaries and then from the capillaries it will get collected into the vein and through vein it will come back to the heart Into the right atrium. I hope you got this idea. One more image is there. I'll just go through it. You can see, uh, you can read here uh, that uh, here uh, this is a cardiac diastole phase is there. Diastole means the heart is relaxing. Means all chambers are relaxed and the blood flows into the heart. You can see blood is flowing here from the vena cava inside. Here also blood is coming. Here also blood is coming in the left atrium. Here also blood is coming, so there is no contraction of heart. 
Now in the second phase, you can see there is an arterial systole. Systole means contraction. So the artria is contracting. This uh, this part is contracting. While the ventricle is in diastole phase, means ventricle is relaxing because it is collecting blood. So here, uh, this ventricle size will keep on increasing. Now, in the second phase, the sorry, in the third phase, now we will get the arterial diastole because here arterial arteria will keep collect, keep uh, getting its blood and so the blood will keep coming inside. But here the ventricle will contract and since the valve is closed, so the blood from here will pass into the since it's a uh, right ventricle, so it will go to the pulmonary artery. In the case of the left ventricle, it will go to the aorta. I hope uh, clear. The same only. Uh, no to explain. Now here comes the next thing. What is lub and dub? Actually, lub and dub both are sounds. This lub sound is to come from. This love sound will come after the closure of atrioventricular valve. While the dub sound will come from the closure of semilunar valve. Remember, atrioventricular valve is present here, this area. And semilunar valve is present in either in the pulmonary artery here, or either in the, the aorta. So the the this sound will be more higher, and this sound will be actually uh, less in intensity. So both has got a different name. This is called lub. This is called dub. So actually, uh, in one minute you will you will about about to hear seventy two times lub and seventy two times dub. That will come to uh, come. I will explain the later classes. I hope this topic is clear.